What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got Juice World's final album is never dropping. I hope this shit ain't true. It's from my boy Am Chan. Am Chan. He he had commented on one of my videos since I had posted on it. Hey yo, if you watching this, thank you for you know even showing recognition to my little channel. But today I hope this ain't, shit ain't true. Please, Chan, please don't do me like this, my nigga. <laughs> she told me put my heart. In the back, and nobody gets hurt. Now we not gonna see a Juice World album, and you're making it worse. No, I'm just playing. That that, that y'all wasn't supposed to see that. I just, I'm a big Juice fan. Oh, and oh, I was a big X fan. But anyways, let's get to the video. Juice World's final album, The Party Never Ends, has become an extremely anticipated album for years from many Juice World fans. And after many leaks into straight flat out lies from Juice's team, when's Juice World's uh, posthumous album dropping? Six weeks. This album has been delayed many times, leading to fans getting really impatient and losing their hope and wondering if the album will ever really drop or not. And when exactly. the album was first announced in the summer of 2021, the hype was absolutely unreal. Being one of the most hyped up rap albums since now in 2024, we have no real info, hype, or real role on this album. Album, and nothing teased from Juice's team too recently. My name is Amchan, and I'll be taking a look at the state of Juice World's final album, The Party Never Ends, and how the album has significantly lost hype to when it was first supposed to drop, as it's been almost three years since we have gotten a new Juice World album. And now, when Juice passed away in December of 2019, he left a legacy of being arguably the biggest artist in the SoundCloud era and growing a the massive biggest. diehard fan base. And before Juice's passing, his next album was supposed to be called The Outsiders and supposed to drop on its birthday, but sadly never did. And many fans thought at the time, was well, this gonna be Juice's first posthumous album? As even Ali Lottie before she like you know turned all like you know crazy confirmed on her life saying that we aren't ready for this album implying that it actually is dropping soon and that the album did exist on notes on her phone showing the like you know true vision Juice had on the album. A lot of these songs are supposed to end up on the outsiders like Man of the Year, Righteous, and Blood of My Jeans featuring Gunna would then end up on his first actual posthumous album that being Legends Never Die. Now I remember the hype for this album at the time was absolutely insane. I remember everyone was trying to see what leaks and snippets were actually gonna end up on the album and a lot of the album would actually end up being leaks which if the leaks are the reason why the party never ends is like you know being pushed back that's Excuse gotta be the worst ever excuse because really legends never die album that actually like you know did have mostly leaks would debut at number one on the charts and would have like 500k first week sales being two times platinum like this has got to be the best handled posthumous album as it had no like you know delays and just an overall amazing rollout built from juice's team and i wish it was also the case for juice's party never ends album and speaking of that album in the summer of 2021 juice's next album would actually be teased that being the party never ends and the album name was also teased in the final line of the outro to legend never die the party never ends and many fans were super hyped for this project juice's team even dropped a trailer on like you know youtube uh, uh, time out how the fuck are you gonna tease oh no no how the fuck are y'all gonna tease the album and then blame that shit due to leaks nigga if you don't do you know how many fans was waiting on this fucking album? Do you know how much I could have been jamming right a vote now because of you mother... You know what? I ain't even gonna say nothing. As well as a pre-save link and a cover art as well. And they also announced the announcement to a like, you know, single man, which a man that should never ended up dropping. And it was supposed to have three parts that were actually like, you know, supposed to drop at different times. Those three parts being pain, love, and hype, all showcasing the different sounds of juice, which I thought was a very cool concept. So I mean, hopefully we actually like, you know, still see that when or even if the album does actually end up dropping. But basically when the hype was at an all-time high in the summer of 2021, a few songs did actually end up being leaked because of how impatient the fans were actually were. And the album would actually be pushed back in the HBO documentary and Fighting Demons would actually drop instead. And a lot of these songs that were like, you know, gonna end up on the original The Pride Never Ends track list, like Go Hard, for example, would end up on Fighting My Demons, which in my opinion was a very, very underrated album. And a lot of people don't mess with this album. And this album didn't perform too well when being compared to Legend Never Die as it sold around 110K first week. But there was still hope because Bibi was saying on Twitter that we actually would be partying in June, meaning that the album the party of her ends would end up dropping in that month and yeah fam again more leaks would end up happening which actually would eventually like you know delay the like you know album rollout i remember some author was actually like you know supposed to drop at the time and juice's team was thinking of like you know putting a feature on that song but the song ended up leaking and it would not end up dropping officially but hopefully it actually does end up dropping on the final album for sure and the album hopefully. wouldn't drop in 2022 a few singles would actually drop that year though and 2023 would come around and baby would announce that this is juice's final album and baby would also 
also say that the album is 95% done, but nothing would end up dropping. Is the album complete? Right. Over here, bullshit. I'm over here trying to jam the juice, and y'all over here jamming my juice. Let me stop that. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we can get up right now. It's like 95%. That's a nigga who bullshit. 95. And on Juice World Day, Juice's mom was saying that the party never ends wasn't a drop at the top of the year. That being this year. And amen. Fast forward to 2024, we still have absolutely nothing. All we have is nothing. a single that dropped last year, that being Lazy featuring Eminem, which I definitely don't think is album worthy at all. It is produced by Benny Blanco. And speaking of, like, you know, producers, man, and for those who actually don't know, man, Max Ward was supposed to be in charge of the album back in 2022, along with another close producer, that being Rex Kudo, basically making this album Juice World's dream album, which really made fans hyped at the time but then max lord was actually replaced by benny which definitely makes no sense in my opinion because max lord was juice's go-to producer when he actually was alive and if anyone should be managing his final album it should no question be max lord also yeah. some controversy happened like you know between juice's manager p and max lord as p was saying that max lord was leaking songs i'm not gonna like you know go into detail with it too much but amen it will lead to max lord going on a massive rant on instagram but amen as of now it seems like max lord and p are like you know now back on good terms as apparently now Max and Benny are both working on the album. And it seems like Benny is just trying to make hits billboard wise, like Lacey, for example, when Max Sword actually wants to drop songs that he thinks Juice would genuinely want to actually drop. I know Max Sword yeah, had dude. finished the album, but they, like, you know, did end up scrapping his version. But I guess we actually will see what the both of them are actually cooking up. But in terms of when we actually can expect this album to actually drop officially, Pete did say back in March that the album is actually done and that the album will drop in less than three months. Meaning that if Pete is not capping, we should be getting this album next month in June, which in my opinion is a oh. Perfect time for the album to actually drop, being a crazy start to the summer. Other news Pete exactly. has provided us in the past month is that the album is over 14 songs. The features mm. are people Juice had worked with before, thank God. Biscotti, which did oh, actually yeah. last year, will be on the album. Takashi Murakami will be working on the cover, which I guess was kind of confirmed when oh! he did actually like you know fly to like you know Japan oh, and were actually seen working with him. The Party Never Ends is Juice's last album, but Juice will be on the Grade A album whenever that actually does drop. The album is not have mostly unheard songs and it's supposed to drop in the next three months. Which Pete did say all this back in March. Things may have changed since then, but amen. Hope most of this is actually true. Hey, I'm still at first to drop and I'll obviously tune in because Juice is one of my favorite artists. But a lot of people can't say the same because, hey man, it seems like there's just been no hype recently for the album and nothing from P or Grade A. Not even any soons from Bibi, which, hey man, we know Bibi has become very, very popular for saying that throughout this freaking rollout. And it seems like no one really cares about this album besides Juice's core fan base. And the only way Juice's team can really gain all this hype back they once had in 2021 is to preview how the album will sound like and Maybe to post promo as well. With this obviously being Juice's last project i have high hopes for this album it's obviously mostly hype songs which is absolutely amazing because amen i feel like juice's hype songs really do hit the hardest if the plan is to still drop this album in june which i doubt is the case they should start doing promo like right now which they haven't been doing even though the album is already done so i don't know what juice's team is actually waiting for but looking at recent updates for this album juice's team has not been talking about this album lately at all the only like you know new news that we actually like you know do have i guess is the juice world and fortnite club that actually has been teased for a while and i feel like juice world being on Fortnite will honestly be a good way to actually hype up this album and bring more people interested in actually listening to it. Also, Pete did say last month that one of the biggest things the community has been asking for is going to happen this year. I honestly wonder what that is, but hey man, I actually am assuming it is the album, obviously. If I had to predict when I think the album is going to actually like, you know, drop, man, I'm going to say anywhere between July or August. I definitely do not think this album is dropping next month as a man, not enough hype has just been built. Also, a bunch of songs are leaking. The apparent leading single, Oxy, in the Dark has also surfaced back in March, which also may be a reason why the album keeps getting pushed back. But besides that, I hope you actually do get this album soon. Make sure I subscribe for more juice content. Man, that's the end of the video. This shit just blew me because I'm trying to listen to some juice for the summer. I'm going to be coming up with bangers. I'm trying to listen to juice. Juice world. Face ass. Stop. I just got back out of in town and, and it has been rough for me. But I hope this shit is what we've been waiting for. But anyways, I'm a big Drew fan. I can't wait to pay this shit. But anyways, for OGT man. And yeah, let's pray that they send Juice off with a fucking amazing album. Giddy.